of all we need is our host. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. What is shaking? Happy Tuesday. Uh, hey, hey, Dan B. How are you? And Alan Plot and TC and Gabe and Deanna. And um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm back and forth, TC. Thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah. We need Adam's good vibes. Oh, thank you, Gabe. Uh, folks, I'm doing my top shelf tonight. I won't I won't get through all of it. But um, hopefully I'll have something here. But I have uh, this many records here. Hey, Adam and C. Hey, Brad. Hey, Nick. Hey, everybody. So I'm just going to randomly pull from here. Well, um, this is the top shelf that I need to get listed online, so let this be an encouraging thing for me. And so uh, let's make it happen. Uh, this was in the thumbnail. This is a local band from North Carolina called the Aubreys. I think they're Rocky Mount or Wilson, that area. It was autographed by all the members of the band. This one's $400. I actually have it listed online. And so uh, I'm just waiting for someone to grab it. It's is sold for way much more money uh, and so there we go so um if you see anything you're interested in just put it in the chat the title and the price will make it happen hey sean uh hey donald um yeah jeff Toll live u.s tour 1972 is 25 dollars. when this was new it sounded horrible it sounds horrible now but you can listen to it and you can enjoy jeff Toll live uh, this is a Sheffield Labs pressing. Sheffield Labs did some uh, audio file pressings. Uh, this is um, Thelma Houston and Pressure Cricker. So this is a jazz title. Uh, this one is priced uh, thirty dollars. Woohoo! So I'll try to get these up online this week, or as many of them as I possibly can. One of our local uh, musicians, Rob Abernathy. This is one of his solo records. I actually have one of these that's factory sealed, and I have one that's autographed. And so um, this one is uh, $40, Ron Abernathy. He was in a band called Arrogance, uh, Slackmates, uh, did a lot of video game stuff. You you or your children play some video games, there's a good chance he did a lot of the music for that, for a lot of the video games. I don't know which ones they are. Uh, I think this is, uh, we're only in it for the money, the um, Mothers of Invention. This is an original press, and it is. I uh, got a signature there of somebody who took it to their party, and they want to make sure they got brought it back. And if they left it there, somebody could definitely uh, say, oh, by the way, you left your record here. This one is $64. Woohoo! I'm just randomly grabbing them, folks. This is a 12-inch single. Uh, some of the rap hip hop stuff just that's crazy stuff. You know, if there was only 300 pressed or a thousand or over how many it was. Uh, but this is from Durham, North Carolina. It's called um, the name of the artist is Hill, H I L L. This one is $300. Yeah. Uh, here's another private press, and uh, it is autographed. Um, H A R T A R Hatar is the uh, name of the groups, and it says to theater with with best with best wishes of fun and luck with your vision, and then it's got someone's name. This one is. Um, so there's a, a little signature and the inscription. Uh, this one is uh, forty dollars, folks. I can't remember the sound right now, but did a lot of research in pricing these records and coming up with a price. This one's really fun. I like this one a lot. This is disco and soul dances from the Hustle Own by Rosemary Red Hallam. This one is $25. Um, it's one of those cool um, private press um, educational archive uh, records, pressings. 
This is a German press of the five man electrical band, uh, goodbyes and butterflies. This one is $39. Um, I think this is, don't quote me, I think it's psych. Yeah. Uh, this is Mills Davis. This one is $35. It's one of the fusion releases by uh, Mills. And let's take a look at the label because I just don't remember. Oh, there we go. Columbia. Columbia, the gem of the ocean. A band that I like a lot, The Love Inks. And this is EXI. This one's $35. It's shoegaze. I love that shoegaze. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, this one's really cool. When I first got it, I was like, wait a minute. Did I miss the Grateful Dead record? Hey, Dennis, dude. Good to see you tonight. Uh, this is Peaceful Solutions by Richard Allen and Kirby uh, Shellstat. Um, another private press. This is $25. The cool thing about putting stuff like this online is that you get a greater audience than somebody who may remember seeing those guys in college or they grew up in the neighborhood. I wonder what so-and-so is doing now and they find this stuff and they got to have it again. Oh. Yeah. Um, this is um, a local Bill Lowry. This is his band right? and the record's called Higher Ground. Local press. I can't imagine there's very many of these that were ever made and um this is a wonderful survivor fifty dollars and bill lowry is a wonderful musician and i think he was in a one of the bands that had a little bit of a regional success bill lowry i'll have to think about it later i'm sure i will it's not every day you run across an autograph kelly savada's savada Eddie Savas record. And uh, it says, Phyllis, who loves you? Teddy. Telly. Yeah, this is 175. Um, I'm just flipping and randomly grabbing them. Um, the Beach Boys, Smiley Smile. Nice pressing. Original correct insert. It's $40. Um, own brother records it's very nice stuff you just don't see that often in such beautiful condition i'm okay with uh this is another sheffield Labs, the king james version uh harry james and his big band and uh, like i said earlier sheffield Labs. oh this is ten dollars i have no idea how i got in here uh Hey, $10, but it is an audio file press, and that's probably why it's in here, because sometimes I like to corral the audio file presses. I'm going to put it right here for now, and I'll have to remember to put it away. I don't want Nico to hop up here and say, ooh, this record sleeps good. Yeah. Um, I remember as a kid turning on, I grew up without any paid television, we didn't have cable vision or anything like that, no dish. Uh, we just had a few channels and um but sometimes i would be at other people's houses and i'm like well, what channels do they get and I ran across one of the community television channels and this is a jenny whitker and it says um sings from nashville tennessee she's from kenley she's not with us anymore and i remember just watching her thinking oh my gosh how cool is she and if I'm not, yep, this is all Jesus music, but she played the mess out of that guitar, and it's just an incredible record. Um, if you get a chance, if you can find her on YouTube, $30 for that private press of, uh, of Jenny Whitker. Um, this is the original A.P. Carter family. family. There's an autograph here. And uh, it's on this side. Maybell Carter, best wishes, Maybell Carter. So it was autographed, and someone uh, just put uh, tape on there. Um, it's on Pine Mountain Records, the Carter fan family. And uh, I can't remember if that's a private press or not, but this is $74. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I hope everybody's kind of digging this, what I'm doing tonight. Um, 
I could do this uh, several nights in a row um, because I have a lot of top shelf stuff and uh, stuff I like to keep close. Not everybody looks at it. Not everybody asks if they can look at it. Martin Luther King at Zion Hill, uh, narrated by Bob Decoe Coy. This is one hundred seventy-five dollars. Um, it's on the Dutu D O O T O label. Yeah. Uh, mas, ma, mash, makam, mash makam is the, is the group. Sorry. Um, this is on, um, Epic label. On the back it says demonstration not for sale. It's got a stamp on there. It's $29. There you go. Oh, some records you just don't want to get rid of. Introducing the Walker Brothers. Oh my gosh, the Walker Brothers are so cool. But I can't keep everything, especially during the pandemic like this. But uh, this is $24. Of course, Scott had the most uh, success after Walker Brothers. Um, yeah. Um, love is all around the Trogs. John would like, is it pronounced marshmallow? Totally okay if it is. Um, oh, it's close. Thank you, Sean. I really appreciate this. We are digging this tonight because we're learning something about artists we didn't know. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should do this as a video and post it up there and see if I can get some traction. Sean, Sean D. Mash ma ka. Yeah. Twenty nine dollars. Also it's okay, Sean. It's all good. It's all good. Um Thank you, sir. I'll put this over here for you. There's Nico. Nico, would you like to come say hi to everyone? No. She's not. Um, yeah, thank you, uh, Gabe. Okay, uh, this is the Trogs, love all around. You just don't see this record very often. You know, folks, you don't see it very often. That's that's what I say is that you, you just don't see it very often when you walk into your local record shop when you're out and about. You can get online and you can find most anything. You can have it ordered and have it shipped to you in a few days. Uh, but there's just something about walking into a record store and finding a really cool record. And uh, as long as Adam can figure it out. Right, Sean? There you go. Uh, so you just don't see this very often. Uh, this is the only copy I've ever had. Love. Love is all around. I would love to keep it. But until it sells, I can play it occasionally and enjoy it. This is, uh, this is $30. I'll show you the label. It's on Fontana. Yeah. Woohoo. Hey, hey, where the monk is. Um, 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 a very nice copy of the birds. This is a, oh, never mind. Very nice copy of the birds. It's 2006 reissue, folks. It's $30. Um, it's mono. It's just that when records are priced more than twenty dollars, I like to keep them up here where I can keep my eyes on them. And I like to keep them on the walls here behind the counter, and just so I can keep my eyes on it. It's bad enough people pinch my records, my three dollar records, my one dollar records, and you know it's bad enough that happens. But I can keep my eyes on them. Uh, this is a band called. Uh, I think it's called Tool. Let's take a look and see. Uh, oh, it's the. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's still classified as a picture disc. And I do think it's Tool. I'm sorry, folks. I don't have any Tool at home. 
I uh, I'm that guy. I bet Sean could tell me. If you know Tool, you know this cover. It's fifty-five dollars. Oh, thank you, Sean. The 2006 birds younger than yesterday sounds fantastic. Uh, let's say Sunday's release. Oops, I'm gonna grab that. Uh, blues people. Oh, here's one over here. Blues people. This is. Uh, it says you got the voting blues. Chicago Pete. It's a private press. It is autographed, but it's not autographed by by uh, Pete. It's autographed by his road manager or something like that. Which I'm thinking, not his road manager, his manager or something. I'm thinking that. You know, I'm manager this guy. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And uh, and so they probably gift it to a friend. But there's the autograph. Uh, but aside from the fact that it's autographed and it's not Chicago Pete, I I just priced it based upon it being not autographed. Uh, this one is fifty five dollars. Check out that cool base he's got there. It's amazing. Uh, it's a Fender um, jazz bass. I've always wanted a jazz bass, but I've never found one at a good deal that's come my way. And now they're just, I can't afford to get one. Um, Psycho Stick. And it's actually a Christmas record. So Psycho Stick, I need to listen to this. It's $25 uh, picture disc produced by Psycho Stick. Mixed and engineered by Joshua. Okay, I was in Selma today. Um, made a really cool video. I'm going to post it as a YouTube video. And uh, my Facebook page got hacked uh, about a week. And my Facebook account got hacked about a week and a half ago. And I'm still dealing with some repercussions from that. Um, it got hacked. And the person who hacked it uh, did some Facebook ads. And so I'm trying to recoup $100. And it was attached to my PayPal account, and bam. You know how that goes. Uh, this is a fan club pressing of uh, Aerosmith. Look at Homeward Angel. I say that because I can't stand whatever Dan just said. I can't stand that platform. But when I started Record Crate, um, we didn't have the IG. And I realized that IG is owned by the same people who own the... Um, that other platform so what am i to do it's a tool folks it's a tool uh so anyway this is 22 dollars. it's warped i played it it's warped like a roller coaster but it still plays and i didn't hear any uh sound variants um this is the john birch society blues it's bob dylan this is also a fan club pressing uh, and it's $24. I'm thinking perhaps I prefer fake block. But give me that link. Give me that link if you would. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking like, well, if we make it John Birch, we won't get in trouble. But uh, anyway. Um, yeah. Okay, let's grab another. Another local band that we have is called The Embers. It's on JCP, which is a Raleigh label. So this is a private press. I can't remember if this is a first record or not, but, you know, this belonged to... Who did it belong to? It belonged to Anita? and 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 Mitchell, maybe? She wanted to make sure that she went home with her Embers record or she left it there. Somebody's going to call her. $44. Absolutely. Uh... Lamont and, and and Monday I was here and I sold two top shelf records just like that because I was talking to this guy, he's a DJ. Um and it's music. He he spins the music, he spins it on uh turntables, he also does MP3s and or whatever digital file. And he came in and says, What's that record right there? I said, Oh, I'm gonna play it for you. And and he loves uh eighties uh pop music. Um soul if you will rhythm and blues and uh also loves uh 80s hip-hop you know he knows it into anyway i played it he says oh i like this 
and then I got the one song. He says, oh, "I'll take it," because he has a seven inch of that record, and anyway, ended up buying it. And then, and I said, "Well, have you heard this one?" And so I played him another track from another record, and he fell in love with it. Uh, Lamont, a legend in his own mind. This is on the Uni label, UNI. This is twenty four dollars. It does have shrink. And I'm going to show you the label. There we go. Appreciate everybody coming to hang out with me tonight. If you stay toward the end, I'm going to do another giveaway. Yes, I am. Uh, so anyway, I should have this in a bag. Actually, I'm not going to put it back in the jacket. I'm going to put it in the bag. Okay. Uh, I'll go a little bit more, folks, but not far, but not many more. This is uh, Bagpipes and Drums by the 9th Regiment Pipe Band. Yeah. And this is another audio file pressing, folks. It's $8. But I just kind of corral the audio file stuff together. And uh, so there we go. Uh, yeah. You know, we think of a lot of, uh, hey, Wax, how are you? We think of a lot of uh, current audio file pressings. We think of uh, analog productions, um, original master recordings, mobile fidelity. We could go on and on. Um, but, you know, in the 50s and 60s, they, their audio file stuff pressings were a little different than that. And sometimes they were the demonstration records, which are always fun. And I think Sean D has purchased a demonstration record for me. Uh, which is really cool. Hey, this is Dion with Runaround Sue. I have a customer named Chip. And when Chip sees this one, he's going to love it. Uh, $25. He may already have it, though. But he's going to love it anyway. Um, yeah. Um, oh. J-A-M-M-E. Jammy. Jam. Jam. Anyway, wonderful uh, psych record on Dunhill. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I can't keep it all, folks, but I can have it for a little while until it sells. This one is $30. Yeah. Let's see. Three more. I'm going to do three more, then I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, the Sensational Alex Harvey Band. This is a very nice copy. Um jacket is well loved but this is $24 yeah um, I'm guilty of not hearing that even though a lot of people say you gotta hear that it's really good so that was one. Oh yeah here's a Ringo record with a, a timing strip it's not super valuable um, this record is somewhat desirable but not super desirable but, uh, you know, it is a promo. It's got the tiny strip on it. Uh, it's not a white label, but it is Atlantic. This one is $70. Hopefully those, the Beatles guys from Charlotte are watching tonight. I don't know if they've ever seen that record. I know that I haven't. Um, a record I really don't want to get rid of. There's a lot of wonderful Tom... Um, Todd Rundgren and stuff out there. He produced a lot of stuff for a lot of people. Wonderful musician. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But um, the only Todd Rundgren I've ever kept for myself has been the NAS or NAS. Anyway, this is NAS NAS. It's factory sealed. It's a Rhino release. And I don't know. Um, I don't know when Rhino became official. Uh, but anyway, this one's $35. I think my copy is on red wax, so I think that's a, uh, an original pressing. So, yeah, there we go. I think I'm going to stop here, folks. Like I said, I could do this for several nights in a row. I got a top shelf in, in Wake Forest, my vault. Probably 25% of it is top shelf stuff. And, um, and I'm slowly pulling things out of there. So, anyway, with that said, folks, let's do a giveaway. Um, I got a sheet of paper right here. I'm going to write down some numbers and, um, we're going to have a giveaway. So we've got 11 people in the chat. So let's do between 20 
and 40 without going over. So we're looking at a number between 20 and 40 without going over. If you would put your, your guess in the chat. Okay. Thank you everybody for coming and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it a bunch. Um, wonderful busy day. Had a blast in, in uh, Selma today. Hey Steve Woods, so good to see you. 32, 38, 28, 33, 25, 27. Donald, if you would choose another number, would you delete your uh, that, that 27 comment and just choose another number? Gabe came in first on my end with 27. Let's see if I get a little girl. Nico, where are you? If I have treats up here, but she gets too many treats as it is. I feel like I've eaten dairy, but I haven't. Kind of got that sinus mucus feeling going on. Yeah. Uh, Nick. Oh, thank you, Donald. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, folks, there's 10 people here. Let's get some more ants. Let's get some more guesses in here. At least three more. Let's see if we can get almost 100% here. Okay. So, um, StreamYard tells me there's typically a 10 second delay. So, I'm going to count backwards 10, 9, 8, and someone just left. 7, 6. If you're watching the replay and something wasn't committed to, be sure to reach out. My email address is floating down there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dun, da, 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 da. There we go. 31. Let's see who came closest to 31 without going over. Let's see. Dan, 30. Oh, Dan, you just went over that. Oh. oh. And... TC is 28. Donald! Donald! Congratulations, Donald! Um, congratulations, Don. Um, next time I see you in Wake Forest, uh, I'll try my best to uh, remember. And if you would please be so kind to ask, I appreciate it a bunch. But uh, it's Donald! Woo Probably scared the baby girl. But anyway, folks, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it a bunch. Um, what's today? Tuesday. Tomorrow I'll be in Wake Forest. I gotta. I'm scheduled to make a house call tomorrow morning. Uh, an older gentleman wants to get rid of all of his records he's ever had. He says he's fully vaxxed, and uh, if I feel comfortable when I get there, I'll go in there and look at his records, and. Um, Hopefully I get some really good stuff if it works out. But it's all about, you know, the story. But, hey, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you really soon. Oh, I'm going to put a link in the chat if you want to come and hang out. Uh, I think Adam has already left. He didn't guess the number anyway. Uh, if you want to come and hang out for a little while, that'll be fine after, after the stream ends. So, anyway, hey, good night, everybody. See you soon. Be safe. Be cool. Rock and roll.